Hi, everyone. Uh, it's me, Justin. Uh, and I got some major books back from CGC. Uh, but before I show them off, um, just a quick public service announcement. Um, don't mind the mess behind me. We actually had a, our hot water tank uh, sort of rusted out from the bottom and leaked everywhere here in the basement. But don't worry. Uh, the only book that was ruined uh, in that process was my Amazing Fantasy 15. So nothing to worry about. Anyway, let's get on why we're here. Uh, I got back 10 books from CGC across four different grading tiers. Uh, there, there are some major books in this pile, um, some grail books, in fact, and I, I don't like to use that term loosely, but there, there's one book in here that I, at least one book in here that I would consider uh, a grail book. Uh, so, uh, without any further ado, patience, I don't know the word I'm looking for. What's funny is that I'm actually recording this and it's not live. And I don't plan on editing it because I don't know how. So we're just going to go with it. Uh, so 10 books total, four different tiers. I'm going to start off with the modern tier. Uh, there's some good books in here, even though they are moderns. Uh, so first up is, of course, Edge of Spider-Verse, number two, first appearance of Spider-Gwen. Uh, I actually got this book. Someone traded it to me for work. So I actually agreed to letter their comic book series. And in return, they sent me this and the second appearance of Miles Morales. So it was a good deal for me. Uh, and before I show the grade, just to let everybody know, I do already know what the grades are. I can't wait. I'm not, I can't, I'm not patient. I, I had, as soon as I saw that they popped, I had to look. That's just how I am. Um, also, all of these were done. All of these were pressed and cleaned, and some of them were actually cracked out of previous CGC cases by the comic book chiropractor. Uh, please, everyone, Dustin does a great job, and you're about to see why. So this one came back a 9.2. Um, I don't plan on keeping this. I actually plan on selling it. Uh, uh, this, this is actually my second copy. My first copy is a 9.8, and that's the one that I grabbed off the shelf the week it came out. Um, so if you're interested in this book, uh, just let me know. Hit me up on Instagram, uh, Justin underscore Birch underscore letters. I think that's my Instagram name. I don't know. Okay, so next up, uh, we've got, uh, a, you can't show Spider-Gwen without showing, of course, Miles. Uh, this is actually my second uh, Ultimate Fallout 4. Uh, my first one is a 9.8. Um, I picked this one up at Lexington Comic Con two or three years ago. Uh, so uh, I definitely overpaid for it. Uh, and the grade that it got was a 9.6. Um, I'm not too upset about it. Uh, I would have been upset if it was a 9.4 because then that loss would have been greater. Um, but it is what it is, right? Prices aren't what they were two or three years ago. Um, so again, if you're if you're interested in in this one, since it is my second copy, please just reach out to me and let me know. I'd be happy to sell it. Uh, next one up, I picked up at Huntsville Comic Con two years ago when I was I drove from my home in northern West Virginia to Huntsville, Alabama, which was like a ten or eleven hour drive. Um, it was it was a lot of thinking time to myself. Which is never a good thing, right? So the next book up is NYX, number three. First appearance of X23. And it got a 9.0. Now, this is my only copy. Um, I'm undecided if I'm going to keep it. It might be for sale. So, if, again, if, if anybody out there is interested, please just let me know. Just send me a message. We can work out a deal. I, I like. I, I want to get first appearances of X Men characters uh, of mutants, and this this is definitely on the list. But I, I think I want a higher grade. Uh, I'm sort of undecided at this point. Um, so NYX number three and a nine point oh first appearance of X twenty three. Okay, this next book is the last book in the modern tier, and it's. 
it's a little weird, a little quirky. Um, I'll just show you. So what we have here is an X Factor number five. It's the first cameo appearance of Apocalypse. And what makes this so little quirky or weird is the fact that it's a double cover. Um, so it came back a 9.6. And actually, both covers are 9.6. The notes up here, double cover. First cover, 9.6. Interior cover, 9.6. I was really hoping for a 9.8, but I guess I can't be upset about a 9.6. The, the only issue with it is I have no idea what to price this book at. Um, I was doing some research and I looked one up on eBay, a double cover on X Factor number five and a 9.4. Someone has listed that 9.4 on eBay for $1,200. I don't believe the 9.6 is a $1,200 book, but if somebody out there would like to offer me $1,200 for this book, I would sell it without even hesitating. So this one is also for sale. If you're interested, again, just let me know. So the, the interesting thing about all of these books, four different tiers ranging from modern to uh, whatever they're, they call their walkthrough now. Uh, I'm, I think it's called Unlimited. I'm not sure. Um, they all came back within, I would say, uh, three or four days of each other, which is great for the vintage, right? Because that's like a 30-day um, turnover time. Uh, but sucks for the uh, that unlimited tier that I sent in because like they, I should have gotten that unlimited tier book back way quicker than I did, but it it, it was weird. It, it felt like Christmas every day for about three or four days, uh, just because I would be getting a box from CGC every day. It was a great feeling. Uh, after I got the box, but waiting for it, I was like, oh my god. What if the FedEx truck crashes and catches on fire and my books are burning into the ether, contributing to the hole in the ozone layer? I don't know. Okay, so next up, these two books uh, were in the, I think they call it vintage tier. It's books that are older than 1975 or 74. I'm not sure. Um, so the first one is, of course, X-Men number three, the first appearance of Blob. I actually picked this up at uh, Three Rivers Con in Pittsburgh. They did an outdoor show in the parking lot um, during COVID, uh, which was really, it was, it was weird. Anyway, um, so I picked this up. It was back when I only needed like three or four X-Men books to finish my run. Um, so I got this. Um, I, I probably overpaid for it at the time. I apologize for the ding that just went off. Someone just sent me a message. But hey, we're not editing this. We're not. Uh, so the first one, uh, this one, uh, X-Men number three, first appearance of the blob. It came back a 5.5, which blows my mind because as you can see over here, or maybe you can't because of the glare. Um, there's a there's a pretty significant chunk of the cover missing. It's that's a good thumb size right there. But it came back a 5.5. Um Dustin said that he thought it would come back at a uh I think a 3.0. Uh so to go from a 3.0 to a 3. Point, or to a 5 going from a 3.0 to a 5.5 uh that it just blew my mind. It's uh cream to off white pages. Page quality doesn't really matter to me that much um i just think that it looks great that that rip you barely noticed it's there because it's just right there over the uh comics code authority stamp um so the logo is good all the characters on the front cover look good minus the glare um so yeah i'm way i'm very happy uh about this one um i will not be selling it i'll be keeping this one for sure uh, the last the last book in this tier was uh, another X-Men book, another key, another Silver Age key. Uh, it's the first appearance of Juggernaut, X-Men number 12. Um, I Man, when, when Dustin sent me what he projected the grade would be for this and what it actually came back, uh, it, it, it blew my mind. Um, 
Dustin said it would come back a 2.5 to a 3.0, or maybe it was a 2.0 to a 2.5. Um, and it actually came back a 5.0, um, which is fantastic because um, I picked this up two, three years ago. Uh, again, probably that same about that same time I picked up that X-Men 3, trying to finish that X-Men run. Um, it was, uh, I, like I said, only needed a handful of X-Men books to finish it. Uh, I see this book pop up a lot on Instagram sales, and I always see the prices. And I, before I had this one graded, I always thought, I'll, I should get one of those because they seem relatively affordable. Uh, and I assumed that it would be an upgrade over the copy that I had. But a 5.0 in off-white to white pages for a book from uh, July of 1965, I will take. I have no intentions of selling this one unless I can upgrade in some way. But even if I can't upgrade, I'm happy with a major X-Men villain uh, first appearance, especially if it's issue number 12 in a 5.0. I feel like this is like I am uh, ecstatic. Uh, about this grade in this book um it it dustin worked magic on it um that's all i can say all right so next up i you no one probably even knew i picked this book up i did this back in february i think february march um it is hulk 180 arguably the uh first appearance of Wolverine. I guess it just depends on who you talk to. I wanted to cover my bases. So I already have a, a 181. I wanted to get a 180 uh, just in case at some point in the future, CJC decides, nope, the actual true first appearance is 180. So I figured I, I should cover my bases. Um, I picked this up from uh, a YouTube. Again, I, I apologize for the ding. I'm getting messages. Uh, I picked this up from a YouTube auction. Uh, I think it was Madhouse auctions. I can't remember for sure. Um, it was earlier this year. Um, the grade I got was a 7.5, which, again, I feel like is a very respectable grade for this book, uh, which is arguably the uh, very first appearance of Wolverine, depending on who you ask. Uh, I'd like to add also it is White Pages. So, yeah. All right, this next book, actually, these next three books, I hope you like Spider-Man because they're all amazing Spider-Man books. I am thrilled to have all of them in my collection. Uh, I have no intention of selling these. Well, I, I say that, but if someone were to offer me a stupid amount of money, of course I would accept it. I'd be dumb not to. Um, so the first one up is Amazing Spider-Man number 10. It's the first appearance of the Enforcers. Uh, the funny story about this book is that I picked it up at Heroes Con this year. Um, I, I paid, I paid uh, $360. Uh, the thing with it was it was in an old CGC case. It was graded in 2002. So we're talking about a book that was graded over 20 years ago. Uh, Dustin was with me. I... Uh, asked to pull it down off the wall and he looked at it and he just sort of nodded at me like, yeah, man, we could bump that. Uh, so I paid $360. They were, I think asking like four, 400, 425, um, for a 4.0 amazing Spider-Man number 10. And I, I, I didn't even take this home. I just, I bought it and I just handed it to Dustin to take home and to, for him to do his thing. And I'm glad I did because it came back a, 6.0. So he went from a 4.0 to a 6.0 uh, off-white pages from a book from 1964. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 10. I think anytime you could get a sub-10, including number 10, Amazing Spider-Man, and anything above a 4.0, it, it's good on you, right? Especially because I paid a 4.0 or lower price for it. So this was definitely a huge win. Um, if you could see this book in person, it, it's, a, it's, it's, uh, no pun intended. It's amazing looking. Um, I mean, just the, the colors on Spider-Man, it, it's, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I, 
another book that I'm I'm just over the moon for. So two more books left. Um, so I'm over the moon for a lot of these books. Uh, really excited to get them back. I knew what the grades were Monday. Uh, the the I was really excited, really happy. And then the water tank broke, and it's sort of like I was like, "Oh man, uh, this is the universe's way of balancing things out." So you know, the, the universe has to stay in balance. So the good that I got with the grades was canceled out by the hot water tank. And uh, in case you're wondering. The AF-15 really didn't get ruined. I was just making a joke. Um, a bad joke, but a joke nonetheless. So two more books to go. This is the last book in that um, high value tier. It's the, the second highest tier. Um, it is, of course, Amazing Spider-Man number 50. That classic John Romita Jr. Um, oh my gosh, John Romita Sr. cover. Um, first appearance of Kingpin, uh, picked this up early, earlier this year when my initial goal was to, uh, uh, get every issue of Amazing Spider-Man from 50 to 99. Um, my sort of, uh, goals have changed since then, but for the better, I think. Um, so this is from, uh, July of 1967, Amazing Spider-Man number 50 is the first appearance of Kingpin. Um, I bought this raw uh, from a comic shop, and actually, now that I'm sitting here talking about it, I forget what the grade is. So the grade is a 5.5. All right. Um, I, I actually feel like I got a really good deal on this. Um, I picked up this book and a maybe like five or six other um, ASM uh, sub 100 copies or sub 100 issues. Um, I think for around a thousand dollars. And I think that's, that's just about what this is, what this book is going for. So um, the, I got all of those other ones for free, essentially. So I you can't really beat that. So uh, amazing Spider-Man number 50 for experience Kingpin in 5.5 in off white pages. Um, really excited to add this one to the collection. So one book left and you're probably asking yourself what book could you show that would be bigger and better than the amazing spider-man number 50 that first kingpin and there's there's only one book that i feel like i could show that's not an af-15 or an amazing spider-man number one it's not those so don't worry um this book is spider-man's greatest villain the Green Goblin. It's Amazing Spider-Man number 14, the first appearance of the Green Goblin. I picked this up at Heroes Con again. Um, it was a 4-5. Dustin looked at it, gave me that same little nod, and I just I bought it, handed it to him, and it prayed that it would come back a higher grade than the 4.5. Uh, Dustin said he thought it would get a 5.0 to a 5.5. I was I, I was happy. All I wanted to do was it to come back 4.5. I figured if, if you gamble and the worst it does is the grade that it comes back, that's fine. You're just out the time and the money. Um, but if it comes back higher, well, then you win. Man, I so I'm recording this on a Saturday afternoon uh, when my family isn't here because I, I figured things would be quiet. But um, the life of a free freelance comic book letterer is never ending. People want their books. <laughs> so uh, this book, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 14, uh, first appearance of Green Goblin from July of 1964, came back a 5.5. So it was a 4.5. Dustin cracked it. He pressed it. He cleaned it. And it came back a 4.5. This is now um, probably the fourth or fifth most valuable book in my collection. Um, it is the colors on it. Again, you probably can't tell because of the glare, but the colors on it are just rich and bright. And uh, it, it is a, an amazing, again, no pun intended, book to have. I'm really excited for this one to be in my collection. 
Um, when we went to, when I went to heroes, I knew I was picking up an amazing fantasy 15. That deal had been worked out maybe three, three, four weeks beforehand. Um, but I knew that I still wanted to pick up some other books and I felt like the best book to pick up with the first appearance of Spider-Man, the first appearance of Peter Parker would be his greatest villain. Uh, so I definitely went into that show with a mindset of trying to find a, a good, respectable grade in um, Amazing Spider-Man 14, that first Green Goblin. Um, and, and, and truth be told, if if I picked up that 4.5 and Dustin looked at it and said, no, uh, it's going to stay at 4.5, I, I would have been happy. I would have been ecstatic um, with, a, with this book in a 4.5. Um, but the fact that we were able to go from a 4.5 to a 5.5 um, – is it's just mm, ah, chef's kiss so that's the last book i have to show for it uh this this cgc um uh unboxing or i guess submission that's the word i'm looking for this cgc submission was stupid expensive um i think i paid uh, I'm not counting like the shipping and the insurance. I, I think this submission cost me over $600, um, mainly because of that ASM 14, which went in the unlimited tier. And then the three books that I submitted in the high tier or um, high limit, whatever, whatever that second tier is, um, that had a lot to do with it. Um, it, yeah, but I'm not. I'm not complaining. Uh, I'd probably be complaining if the grades were lower than than what we were expecting, but they were exactly what we were expecting or higher. Um, so this was definitely a very good uh, CGC submission for me. So um, before I go, before you know this video ends, uh, make sure to let me know in the comments below what book is your favorite? Uh, if, if you were impressed by any of those books, any of those grades, uh, if you're interested in buying any of those books that I showed at the beginning, please let me know. Um, until next time, uh, don't mind the mess. I hope to get it cleaned up soon. Uh, take care, everyone. And uh, yeah.